Well, hello there. Hey, it's great to see you. Come on in out of that windy, rainy weather that we're having today. I think we're getting ready to have a great big old storm here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina over the next couple of days. Come on inside where it's dry. I've got a fire going. Let's uh, go over your inspection report together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Kelly, we went out to the uh, to the house today and inspected the chimney for you uh, at 216 South Clarkson Street, Unit Echo. E is in Echo. And um, hey, look, you can see the it was raining. You can see the water spots all over the uh, lens of the camera, trying to get a picture of the front of the unit here. How about that? Uh, let's take a look at the top. So even in the rain, we were able to take a look at the top of the chimney. It's got a traditional chimney cap up here, keeping the birds, squirrels, and rain from coming down. A little bit of showing a little bit of rust up here. Hey, these lead to water leaks, so the HOA needs to be aware of it. And it's likely, see all the chimneys in the background, they all probably have that same issue going on. So uh, it'd be wise uh, for perhaps for your buyers to make um, the whole homeowner association aware of that after they move in. Uh, standard open wood burning fireplace. This is an early unit a majestic unit rather. Uh, they hadn't made this fireplace, this particular unit, for a long time. This is basically how the damper works. It's a great big flap with a handle here. Handles right in the front. You just pull it uh, uh, towards you and it opens. Push it up the other direction towards the back of the fireplace and it closes. I've got it closed now so we don't lose energy up the chimney. Uh, flu system looks good and not have any problems up there. Your, uh, your folks should have very, very good luck with this fireplace. And if you folks do have questions for me, though, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.